Welcome, everyone, to That Kind of Nerds Podcast, a weekly show that tells you what is going on in the nerdy world. I am CJ Mellon, joined by Josh Burns and Brian Thornton. What up? I don't have anything witty to say. It's too late. <laughs> That's fine. That's good. <laughs> good good for us. I should really script out these things when I say them. <laughs> just say salutations. I should just write on, like, a whiteboard, like, what dumbass thing am I going to say instead <laughs> of saying hello? And then I'll just cross them off one at a time. Uh, hearty salutations! Well, if you're wondering why some of the uh, just energy <laughs> from Brian was just completely sucked out and depleted, uh, we actually recorded a special episode that you'll notice in the feed for this week. We did a spoiler cast for Avengers Endgame. Guys, it is the nerdiest hour plus that we have ever done on the show. Uh, I'm so excited for you to listen to it. If you have seen the movie, uh, go check it out now and then talk to us. We want to hear from you. Uh, after you listen to that episode and hear your thoughts and feelings. So check that out. But now that we're here in the main show, don't worry. There are no spoilers for Avengers Endgame. Uh, and I just want to jump right into Says this who? episode. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, a fucking reference it the entire time. Who the hell? I didn't sign anything. <laughs> Nobody had an NDA in front of me. <laughs> I'm co-founder of this podcast. I can say whatever the fuck I want. Uh, since it is uh, the first week of the month of May of 2019, Brian, uh, after seeing uh, Endgame several times, took his hand out of the popcorn bucket, hit the keyboards, and put together the blockbuster. Um, correction. My my hand was never out of the popcorn bucket. <laughs> I typed it out with my hand in the popcorn Ugh. bucket. You're you're, you're, now, you're not, let's, quite let's skilled. be serious. You had one hand in your pants and Don't the other I, one. Do, I knew it. Using a tissue to take care of your face. How do you write what boxing gloves on? <laughs> Brian, exactly take like it that. away. Um. All right. So starting. Well, I mean today. So technically. These three movies are already out or you're seeing Avengers Endgame for the second time, which I highly recommend because a it's amazing the second time through. In fact, they changed the ending. So you cry even more. (laughs) Um, Secondly, there's a bunch of mediocre shit coming out uh, that just came out. And on May 3rd, you have The Intruder starring Dennis Quaid, long shot with Charlie's Theron and Seth Rogen and Ugly Dolls, which I got to tell you, I, I think Ugly Dolls is going to take some of the wind out of the Avengers sales. <laughs> it's just, whew. Actually, Brian, it was interesting. You were, you were telling me that when you went and saw. Oh, Endgame. yeah, I, I do have a story around this. Yes. Uh, so I recently, uh, Josh, you'll appreciate this. I recently saw um, Avengers Endgame the second time. As I know, like I said, they changed the ending. I was surprised, too. But beforehand, um the uh, the movie's about to start, and then Seth Rogen shows up on the screen. I'm like, why is Seth Rogen here? He wasn't here the first time. And then he's like, hey, everybody, you're about to see Avengers Endgame. And I was like, yes, I am, Seth Rogen. Why are you here? Are you in the movie? No? Okay. And, like, he's really, like, kind of leaning into the fact that, like, hey, Avengers Endgame is out. And you absolutely, it's a huge deal. You should absolutely be seeing it. Uh, but you know what? When you're done seeing Avengers Endgame, if you need something that kind of, you know, maybe something that that you might want to take your girlfriend to because maybe she's not into this. I mean, you can go see The Long Shot because it's a romantic comedy. Or maybe you don't have a girlfriend and that's okay too because that's just a comedy. And you can go see The Long Shot and deal with whatever you're about to find out in Avengers Endgame. Who lives, who dies, who doesn't make it. And like he's like really like kind of hyping it up. And like I'm like, I don't think he thinks this movie's going to do well. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think he thinks that like he's just gonna get all the all the lo- the the girlfriends who don't want to go see Avengers Endgame a third time. Like I don't know. Did, it, the movie any, looks all right. Any and like does any Seth Rogen film really? Yes, a yes. lot of them actually do. Mm, like I mean, like well, I don't mean like Neighbors, Neighbors did. Money. Neighbors, Neighbors did was really one well. of the highest grossing comedies of all time. Yeah, it's it's up there. Neighbors Neighbors really destroyed and cleaned up. However, really? I'll tell you what Neighbors movie will not, not good. I'll tell you what movie will not be cleaned up. Uh, the Intruder Ugly Dolls, because uh, The Intruder just sounds terrible. The, the, I, you I, you said that like they were one film, The Intruder Ugly Dolls. And I don't ugly know what dolls. Ugly Dolls is. Oh, man. Ugly Dolls looks terrible. Like, yeah. 
I saw right. the name. I was like, that's a dumb name. And I won't even invest any energy in watching that. So, so you know what? Let's move on to May 10th. Because you yeah. know what? There is some stuff coming out May 10th. And I know you guys are interested in seeing, you know, those movies that are 13 hours long if you watch all three of them together? You know, like watching Avatar three times in a row or watching the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Wouldn't you like to know the story about the dude who wrote the books that are way better than the movies, even though the movies are also really good? Not you even can watch- a little bit. You nope. can see Tolkien. Nope. Comes out May 10th. Not even. Uh, no. It's got Nicholas Holt I'm even, in it. I'm even less interested in the Rebel Wilson movie. Oh, the God. Rebel Wilson and Hathaway, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels remake, mm, you that's mean? No. The Please Hustle. don't insult it's, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. It is exactly it a is. rip-off of Dirty Rotten it, Scoundrels. Yeah, it's not a rip-off. So it's, it's legit a remake. It's yeah, just not no. called Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. It looks terrible. The English accent that Anne Hathaway is using is, is bad. Uh, I, I I don't like that choice. I'm sure they're gonna reveal that it's fake. Uh, Tolkien is great for Netflix when when it comes out to to Netflix. Well, maybe maybe instead of seeing Avengers Endgame for a fifth time, you will be seeing Detective Pikachu because yeah, that no, comes out also, May 10th. Also, not right, that. Yeah. Like, I, and and I'm gonna come back to this. I don't understand how you replace Steve Martin and Michael Caine. You don't with these two fucking idiots. You don't. Okay. All right. You well, fair enough. And it, it's not. And I, I. And I don't. And I don't dislike Anne Hathaway. She's just not. She's not suited to this. No, she's you, phoning it in. This is a studio movie. You show me which one of these is equivalent to Steve Martin, and I'll just go ahead and eat a bullet. They're. They're not. No. No. Will you? Will you be eating that bullet with like some amuse bouche? Do you? No, it will it, not be like an amuse bouche. Cereal. No, no, no. I gotta tell you. May 17th has got to be whoa, the most whoa, whoa, perfect. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I'm moving on. We're not talking about Detective Pikachu? Uh, we've talked about Pikachu. We're all seeing it. It looks okay. hilarious. I got to tell you, May 17th is probably the perfect pairing of movies to come out because you have <laughs> A Dog's Journey, which is about a, a dog reincarnating, I believe, which gives me hope for John Didn't Wick's dog. Didn't this movie already come out? Yes, it did. I could have sworn Dennis Quaid had a dog. It jumped off his back. It was a dog's purpose. That was a dog's purpose. Is this a sequel? It's the same movie. This is a sequel with the same character, Dennis Quaid, also in this movie. I was going to say, Dennis Quaid also in that movie. It's a dog's journey because it's about Dennis Quaid passing the dog on to his daughter and he gets reincarnated. My point is the dog in John Wick is still alive and John Wick 3 also comes out that day. That's the joke and you ruined it. The The second dog. May 24th, <laughs> you have some choices, people, on May 24th. You oh, can see. I don't think they're good. The possible train wreck that could be Aladdin. Possible. It's possible. Could be really good, but it yeah. could be a train wreck. Yeah. Or the. Uh, who Probably knows definite be? train wreck that's going to be Brightburn. Brightburn. It's, this is the thing where I want to support Brightburn because I think it's a really cool idea and I oh, want to see more idea. stories like this. But at the same time, I no, I don't think I want to go to a movie and see this. This I, is I, a bad first attempt. It looks so. It, it that's mean, fine, but workshop. But let, let's at least give it enough money that they'll make a, what, another one for somebody else. What is your worst possible version of Superman as a child? That's this movie. Yeah, and like everything, like it's oh, it's terrifying. It's uh, terrifying. I, I'm willing to give Aladdin the shot over Brightburn, but yeah, I'm going to sit there just going, all right, is this, I'm just going to watch it be like, like why people watch NASCAR? I just want to see if there's a crash. If there's not, I saw a good race, but there may be a crash and that would right. be fun. I want to see what murder happens. Brian, can we talk about really, really what's important in May? Godzilla, King of Monsters on Fuck May 31st? No. No, hold on. Get out of here let me ask you a question did that you guys gonna be amazing did you nope. guys see avengers endgame in imax yes yes okay did you see the extended trailer the extended like eight minutes of godzilla oh, yeah. king of monsters I, yeah, of course i did yes okay i was really excited except for one thing it's kind of like the game of thrones episode that just came on the Very snow dark. and rain Fuck. effect on it i'm like i can't fucking make Not out details only is it dark as shit like what are you fucking doing i'm not sure like it's we're, scary, but I'm I'm also like we're right back to Godzilla being a monster, not a protector. How did we lose that? No, but hit? he is a protector. No, he's going to be a protector. The whole I understand he's a protector, he but that's, that's not what they're saying. They're saying our planet is being hit from everywhere, 
right? And these monsters, blah, blah, blah. And there's nowhere in that trailer where where Godzilla is called a protector, even though Ken Watanabe is there. I think, listen, I think this is the movie that sets that up. I think at the end of this movie. The last movie was the one that set that up. No, it wasn't. no. That last movie, he was still a major threat. No, they called, him a, they called him threats. a protector. Like, at the end of the movie, he was the protector. <sighs> Come on, watch no. the movie again. I've seen, I, I will. I own it. It's on my badass shelf. It's on your shelf. It's on my shelf. Where is it? Can we talk about, like, the actual important So, movie? I'm excited oh, because Rocket I am Man. not mm. seeing this movie on May 31st. I'm going to see this movie two weeks early, and I'm goddamn excited to see Rocket Man. You're an idiot because you should be seeing John Wick three on May seventeenth. That's two uh, weeks earlier. See it both. See both of them. Rocket Man. It's gonna be so good. Taron Edgerton looks mm. amazing. And if you haven't, uh, listeners, if you haven't watched any of the videos of Elton John and Taron Edgerton performing together, especially oh, Jesus. especially the one at Elton John's uh, 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 like AIDS awareness charity, the viewing party. Yes, yes. Ugh. Watch that. Holy shit is Taron Edgerton nailing this and, movie. And like the look that Elton gives him is like, holy fuck. Like, Elton's over there like, yeah, you got it, kid. You yeah. got it. Like, yeah, he's uh, he's got it. He has got it 100 percent. This movie's going to be amazing. Dare I say better than Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, well, I think it will definitely be better than but Bohemian Josh, Rhapsody. that won an Oscar. It won an Oscar for editing, and it's the worst edited movie I've ever seen. <laughs> ah! It won an it won an Oscar for the worst category that it shouldn't have won for. What, what I'm saying is that I think Taron Edgerton may be better than Rami Malek in uh, this in this particular. That's, that, that's a very high bar to clear, but I think it, it is may a happen. high bar to clear. But I think, I think I'm there. Happen. Yeah, I think I'm there. Brian, with our tradition of the blockbuster, we let our patrons vote to see what movie we have to see. And then we record a Patreon exclusive spoiler cast for that movie. And we have seen some things and some stuff. So <laughs> what are these four movies this month are we going to uh, let them choose from? Uh, yes, your choices will be Avengers Endgame, <laughs> Avengers Endgame, <laughs> Avengers Endgame and Avengers Endgame. No, no. Your choices will be uh, Brightburn, Aladdin, Godzilla, King of Monsters. And what did I say last time? Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu. Yes. I hate, I hate everything. Why do you hate I'm not, everything? I'm not happy with half of that list. I'm I know. That's why I did it. With 100% <sighs> of that list. Yeah, you but, don't but Brian. Pikachu? I mean, it's, it's yeah, Pikachu. But, like, you know, I don't give a shit. Oh, listen, our patrons sometimes don't want us to see the movies that we want to see. I and they always make us want, see oh, they want to torture us like, and then like make Peppermint. us talk about it. Yeah, all like right. Peppermint. Fair Peppermint was not as bad as you keep saying. Mm. Yeah, it is most I, definitely I not feel, the worst movie uh, we've seen. And I feel like like our our Patreon subscribers rose up and were like, Burns loves Femme Fatale. We're <laughs> going to give Burns a win. And they did. I liked Peppermint. So, CJ, not so bad. But, like, mm. this list, I'm having some troubles. This is going to be rough. You know what? If you do like Femme Fatales, I could put the hustle on there. Oh, God, no. Fuck off. No. Now that we're done doing the blockbuster, let us now turn our attention to the world of TV and movies in a segment that we call Scream to Stream. We need to talk about a trailer that was announced and, and shown this week that not only had the internet say, oh, fuck, really? But then even the director goes, oh, okay, okay. Sonic the Hedgehog got its first trailer and the internet said no. The internet said no thank you. This is this is not my Sonic. We've we've discussed this in length. Just no. Everyone had a visceral reaction. We discussed reaction. it in length based don't... on a promotional photo uh, and CJ and I were like what the hell is this shit? And Josh was like, "Oh, it's going to be fine." And then you saw it in action. Josh, what did you think about it in action? Yeah, I thought it was great. I thought it was I favorite. fucking I hate was, you. I thought it was super entertaining and I want to see it. Oh my god. Man. What did you think about how he looked? How did he, Sonic look? He looked like a furry little kid. Like he did not did he look like Sonic? Did he no, look he like looked Sonic? like the kid from Jumanji when he turned into a monkey and yes. they just made him blue. He looked remotely like Sonic? No. No. No, no he did not. Remotely? No, he did not. No. No, he did not. So There's much no so remotely in there. So much so that it got so much backlash that the director of Sonic, Jeff Fowler, 
uh, announced that his teams were fully committed to making the character the best he could be, and they will be redesigning the character. I would like to say this. A huge conspiracy theory came out of the woodwork when this happened and said, listen, that's not something you can just turn around and fix. Like, no. you got to delay the movie to do that. I mean... It's ask, supposed to come out in November. DC. You're subscribing. You're wait, wait, wait. subscribing. Ask DC what it's like just to remove a mustache, yet alone change a CGI character. Maybe they had one or two extra designs all ready to go. And you're they released this so people to would the, talk about to the, the movie. theory that they filmed a different fucking movie. Just a trailer. No, no, no. That wasn't the theory. The theory was they filmed a whole different movie based on what people want to see but released a trailer different. Yeah, I think they just took the character, they, they made the movie with good Sonic, and then said, okay, for the trailer, let's put bad Sonic out in the world, so people will just keep talking about the Sonic movie. Why would anybody we'll just do flip that? It. Because any kind of attention is good attention. Right. Ugh, people are such snowflakes. Yeah, um, it, it's just... But here's the deal, they, they the didn't say the movie will be delayed while we while we adjust this. It's coming out in like six months. It's gotta be they're saying yeah good we're, we got it we, we, we'll just adjust we'll just tweak it in, in, in post but the we thing gotcha. is you can't just tweak the things that are wrong with this thing it's I, completely wrong I get you you have to rebuild that character from the ground up also he's an alien I mean alright age no, one I don't think... rewrite is what you're talking about I, yes. I, I didn't get alien from the trailer did no they he say said that? I'm here to save your planet he did say oh, I didn't say I didn't he's an that. alien and it ends with uh, it ends with uh, Jim Carrey being on another planet, finally looking like robotic. That's robotic. That's how the movie He's ends. supposed to be a scientific experiment. Yeah, no, this how the yeah I know. Welcome to this this movie. Unless they're going to prescribe to the fact that like like his entire like he is on a different planet, and you know, then he, like, I don't care. Like all, all the games took place on a different planet. Who cares? I don't I don't care at all That's about so this following canon. I, I really That's don't. That's so dumb. I'm okay with something completely different for Sonic. Like, I'm, I'm, I do, I yeah, do, I'm fine for that. I do want to see, you know, a, 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 a ball of a ball of speed. Which I they do. had, right? They which, did they showed them the trailer, which is great. They had that, they had the rings, they but had just like make him look like Sonic and I'll be fine. I am okay and with like, he's an like, alien. Jim Carrey is Robotnik. That's probably the best possible casting you could have. Absolutely. And I love James Martin. Let him do whatever the fuck he yeah, wants. And Marsden too. Like that whole like I thought the trailer with was entertaining. I thought it was funny. I thought it was like it was just it looked like a good movie. Just I, just show just, me. Just make Sonic look like Sonic and I'll be very happy. He does look like when no, he's in he a doesn't. ball, he looks yeah, like when Sonic. Yeah, he's in a ball, he does. When well, who talk, gives a shit? He's in a ball fucking He's going to be in the ball the for one scene in the movie. He's going to be that little mutant Jumanji boy for 90% of it. <laughs> I don't want Jumanji. I already have Jumanji. Thank you. Uh, listen, uh, a, a, a fan sent me uh, this article here. Uh, A-Rod Chambers uh, saying, listen, Disney, uh, Disney Plus, right? They're, they're just trying to get anybody. Anybody to go ahead and spend this sweet, sweet subscription money on them. Let, let's make something for everybody. And he said, I was on the fence until I saw this article. Ron Howard is developing a Willow TV series for Disney Plus. Listen, I I was not a Willow fan. I, that was not the the right age. I was wasn't the right age for that no, to ever. Are connect you with a me. monster? Yeah, of course we are. Remember NK Ultra here in Mother Russia. We did not have Willow. <laughs> we had we, we had little bush Willow tree, but no no little tiny person called Willow. We never had this. So uh, okay, I, I don't really care. I was already on board for Disney Plus, but this is just trying to get everybody. There's something for everybody on Disney Plus. Uh, what do you guys think about Willow being a TV series? If you were born in the '80s, you should love Willow. Like I don't, I don't really have a whole lot more to say about it because well, I love, fucking love, and my children love Willow. And the good news for you, Josh, then too, is not only oh, Ron Howard going to be on board, but also the original writer uh, for Willow was joining this TV series to help craft it, shape it, and develop it too. Uh, and I assume no Lucas. So, yay. Uh, yeah, I'm rejoicing for that. Don't give me looks. Uh, so uh, just curious what you guys think. A series versus a movie. Is this what you wanted? Is this is this a response to the Lord of the Rings thing on Amazon? Like, how are you reading this? Well, Willow was Willow was um, Lord of the Rings before we had Lord of the, that epic quest type thing. And I, and I think that uh, probably it plays out better over you know, six, eight, ten episodes than it does in a two-hour movie. 
Um, and, you know, maybe we can do a little bit better than Val Kilmer this time. Or if Val Kilmer comes back, fat Val Kilmer coming back for Willow. Oh, dude, it was so bad. I see Brian has zero fucks. Let me look around. Yep, none of them are around him. I know, I mean, sure. Okay. <laughs> no, that's fine. This yeah, is not zero fucks. All right. Yeah, zero fucks. Yep, yeah. I was right. I, mean, uh, I have no thoughts or opinions on this. It's actually the first time I'm hearing about it. Uh, since Brian has no excitement for Willow, maybe this will excite him. Uh, Quentin Tarantino is extending his Hateful Eight series. I'm sorry. Quentin Tarantino is extending the Hateful Eight into a four ep- mini episode series. I'm fucking help me out here. My brain is four dying. episode mini series. And you know what's funny? The problem is they're going to be 50 minutes a piece and they're not going to be. They're on Netflix right now. Go watch them. What? They're here I now? literally just Already? saw it on Netflix. So on Netflix right now, Quentin Tarantino has made four episode miniseries based on The Hateful Eight. Not based on. He extended his movie Hateful Eight into a four hour movie. See, that's better when you know you actually read the article. Thanks. Uh, it's on Netflix now. Have you started watching it? I have not started watching it yet, but I saw it and I was like, shit, I, I really you know, enjoyed like, this movie. Here's my problem. Like the original movie is three fucking hours long. Yeah. You say that like that's a bad thing. I thought it was like two hours of 45 minutes or yeah, something. I mean, like it was two, long, like two, but it wasn't. Yeah, 250, whatever it was. Right. It was fucking long. So, like, I'm getting an extra hour, which is which is cool. Mm-hmm. But, like, like really, what am, what am I getting? Wait. I don't know. I haven't watched it yet. Do you want to know what's there? I have to watch it. No, I no. I'm spending all my time watching fucking comedy specials on Netflix. I'm all not, right, well, like, you know what? You continue with your comedy specials. I'll watch Hateful Eight. No, I will report. No, I'll report back to you. Uh-huh. Okay, sure. All right. You let me know how that goes. We'll follow yeah. up in three years, yeah, everybody. Yeah, talk, for, talk to you about for that Brian's book report on the, the Hateful be Eight. Fucking wonderful. Hey, listen. I'm still. I'm still trying to get caught up on my CW show. So mm-hmm. okay. Jesus right. See, see. Already, Christ. already, we're deflecting this. That he just said he'll report back next week. And I'm already getting, oh, no. Well, yeah. I stopped watching them so I can rewatch Game of Thrones. I just got caught up on already Flash. Already backpedaling. Oh. All right, our final topic for Screen to Stream is surrounding Game of Thrones, uh, more in particular the episode with the Battle of Winterfell. Do not worry, we are not going to spoil it. Uh, and we do have some plans to talk about this uh, season of Game of Thrones. Uh, but Brian sent this article to me, and uh, I was elated to see it. A fan had brightened the whole episode and it's basically a different episode. Oh, it's well, so thank much better. Christ. It's so, so much better. Dark. Like, that's it, what it, I it, said to Laura. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, not only like the shaky cinematography when the when the walkers were first coming in and then and then like the darkness. And I'm like, what the f-? like? I can't just see a, a goddamn thing. She's I like, think, I think I think that's the point. And I'm like, no, no, it, it was no. the point. But no. it's I get it. It's dark for them. It shouldn't be fucking dark for me. You know why? I pay money for this shit. I'm not a peasant. This isn't fucking PBS. I paid money. Right. I'd love to see a Game of Thrones on PBS. What would that be like? Yeah, but it would be five minute episodes a piece. In- interrupted by people asking for money. <laughs> We hope you're enjoying the Battle of Winterfell, That's which right. you can see. But if That's you right. donate for thousand dollars you get this tote bag keep this alive <laughs> we want to keep mm-hmm. bringing you this stunning. if you give your firstborn we will give you this coffee mug and, and a our phone. thanks and a, and a wired phone <laughs> now it's gotta be a football phone that's right look look it was dude it was dark as shit and like I still love that episode. No, of yeah, 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 yeah. It was of amazing. Course, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Of but course, of course. Everybody jacked up the brightness on their TV. Uh, everybody going, did it's, this, it's like, my TV, right? I, I, it's my I, TV. I, right? I legit, Josh, I, I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm sitting there with Cassandra. We're watching it and we're so into it. And like we're like, but we're looking at each other, we're like, I can't see any can can't you see, see anything? a fucking I can't, thing. I paused it. I said, I'm so sorry, because I'm watching it live as it airs. Yeah. Because I have HBO. Yeah. I paused it. Went to the guy like I gotta be on the standard deaf channel. There's no way I'm on HD. Oh, I was you on were. H- you I were. was on HBO and HD. I was like, okay. And then I fuck around with the brightness. No, nope. I bring it up. I'm like, this. Okay, maybe I have the wrong setting. If it still can't nothing. see a fucking. If it thing. wasn't for the dragons flying above the cloud lines and in that moonlit shot, I really would have thought my teeth. That would shot that. was fucking gorgeous. I was like, and thank like, you for that validating that happened. there's light. The moonlit shot was beautiful. Cassandra was. says to me, she's like, I don't get it. Cause I'm like, like, she's like, I'm really loving this episode, but I don't get it. Cause I know this is a gorgeous TV. Yeah. So 
This All coming right. from the woman who did not give a shit what kind of TV I bought for our home. Nah, but she's she like, knows. I know this is a gorgeous she TV. She knows. She and knows you have good taste. Oh, I know. Well, of course I have good taste. I mean, come right. on. Right. I, I'm friends with you fucks. Um, and then that shot with the dragons. And I'm like, oh. see, it's not my TV. That shot with the dragons. Like. All right. On on my fucking on my Panasonic. I'm like, oh my God, this is beautiful. Why so the good. fuck couldn't they get the rest of it? I'm yelling at Laura. I'm yelling at her. If you go to the link in the show notes, you will see what this episode will look like if you could just fucking see shit. And you would be very happy with that result. I hope they can do the whole episode and somehow release it. And I don't care they if won't. I get a tour, no, they won't. download or they won't. Whatever. I'll I'll pirate the shit out of a they, brightly they're like, lit one. They're like, the point is you should be ensconced in darkness. Believe it or not. And fear. We've rewatched the episode twice now. And we right. rewatched it on HBO HD or HBO Go. And it looked better, better than when I watched it on the actual channel. Dude, I watched it on now. I'm telling you, it was dark as yeah, shit. It's still, it's still bad. And it's HBO, still dark, but it looked better than and, when I watched it HBO on the channel And HBO streaming itself. has had a very I, bad well, history yeah. with, with image quality. So I listen, can't, I can't again, speak to what it looked like on HBO broadcast. We're going to definitely plan something, and we're going to give you some details about how we're going to discuss the final season of Game of Thrones, because uh, we did that last season, and I think you guys are, are really going to enjoy our conversation about it. So uh, stay tuned uh, on all channels to uh, see what we uh, what we have in store. But I need to turn our attention now to the world of comics, see if it's affecting TV, see if it's affecting movies. But most of all, how is it affecting Brian? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Cape Talk. Cape Talk! Uh, so... Pay unto me my credit, sir. Sir, the credit to thee, uh, I... Render unto Caesar. I, went, I said weeks ago, hey, listen, with all this stuff leaving Netflix, Disney Plus coming out, obviously... Uh, we're going to see this content uh, land in a different place. I'm thinking it's Disney Plus. To Brian says, no, you fool, you buffoon. It's going to be it's going to be Hulu. Like, it's obvious it's going to be Hulu. And I'm like, no, no, way. it's not, it's not going to be Hulu. G- 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 you enjoy your dreams. Brian, my uh, my words uh, must now be eaten. And the crow on my desk actually looks delicious mm, because yes. uh, Ghost Rider and Hellstorm are apparently going to be Hellstrom. Hulu's next. I'm sorry. Hellstrom. Hell- Hell- yep. Hellstrom are going to be Hulu's next uh, live-action Marvel but, shows joining Marvel's Runaways. But Robbie Reyes, not Johnny Blaze. Right. The Now, here's the thing that Which, I read, and Brian, you, correct me if I'm wrong. Go ahead. Is it the same Ghost Rider from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but not this, like, same character? Like, it's the same actor, but not the character. No, it's Robbie Reyes. Yeah, but I, I don't think they're keeping, like, the events that happened with Agents of I S.H.I.E.L.D. Don't, I don't know show. about that, but, okay. I mean, I watched... I watch Agents of Shield. I, I I haven't finished season five, but season four I watched with Ghost Rider, and it was really well done. And I really enjoyed this guy as Robbie Reyes as this Ghost Rider. I'm excited for this, and it, with it being on a streaming platform like Hulu, they could push the envelope a little bit, do some really darker stories, and I'm interested. I think it'll be good. Same thing with Hellstrom. Hellstrom is the supposed to be the son of Satan, and. I think you you do a little supernatural meets superhero shows between the two of them. Mm-hmm. Nice little thirteen episode series. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, so yes, I, uh, I I I was wrong, Brian. You were right. And uh, hug bees. Hope that hope that feels good. It does. It feels so good. All right, finally, uh, it is my favorite hobby to go around the internet to find the weird, find the obscure, and then I ask these two gentlemen for their tech perspective, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen. The company behind a 16,000 AI-powered laundry... Mm, I was really building up to something. I was, I was seriously... I had to, like, redo... $16,000. I'm just waiting so I can... Nah, he's gonna finish up. Kicking, kicking. It's like a little kid when they throw a... T- oh, he'll be fine. Yeah. He'll pick it up later. We're just gonna let him do it. All right. I'm keeping the talking going over him the whole time. Tech perspective. The company behind a $16,000 AI-powered laundry folding robot has filed for bankruptcy. Ladies and gentlemen, goodbye to Laundroid and long live Foldy Mate. Long live Foldy Mate! (sighs) So, uh, obviously we've been following. This is the weirdest thing on the show. We followed fidget cubes, right, religiously as to how that process was going. And And when we saw laundry folding robots years ago, we were like, fuck right. With the exception of me, I thought it was lame and ridiculous, and you guys loved it. Uh, we have been following this drama for a while. Uh, well, all right, all right. Get me to, to be fair. To be fair. That's right. 
This thing, like, so you know how you can go to like a place and buy like a hundred to two hundred dollar like wine cooler thing. Yes. Right. This is the ten thousand dollar one. Right. That nobody buys. Yes. So, like, what I'm thinking is it's just too high. Hmm. Look, sixteen grand for something that folds my laundry. Well, like I could pay a guy that. Here's here's the honest thing too. Folding mate was the uh, only one of these folding robot things to go back to CES for the last three plus years, right? Uh, this one didn't didn't go last year. They broke one of them last year, and I think it was a, I think it was Laundroid. I think they broke it. So like it was never ready for, you know. This is not Foley Mate. This is not on Foley Mate's level. This is not deserving of the recognition that Foley Mate gets. What was the retail price of Foley Mate? Less than this. <laughs> Obviously. I'm glad. I'm glad it's dead. May it be buried in the dirt and may we forget it ever existed. I feel the exact but same. But Foley Mate. That is the one. Is the one. Is and the we true, have declared that. This is we are on. We are on record. This I want I, I do also want to point out that this concept, this foldy mate, started an entire segment on this podcast. Without foldy mate, there would be no tech perspective. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, you're exactly what well, was it? No, no, no. It was nerd degree. It was nerd degree. Nerd degree, sorry. Yeah, I, you're yeah. absolutely right. There would be no nerd degree without the foldy mate and CJ's folly. So thank you, thank you, Foldy Mate, for the the many hours of enjoyment you will give us whilst you fold my laundry. I personally, right now, at this moment, have a load of unfolded laundry in the dryer. I don't want to fucking fold it. I wish I had Foldy Mate. Foldy Mate, it's a positive influence in our lives. It really is. It caused me to stop smoking. <laughs> Wait, thank what? you, Foldy Mate. <laughs> the promise of Foldy Mate, because you know what? When I said maybe I should continue smoking, I said no, because I want to afford, afford a foldy mate one day. Let me start saving that money <laughs> for foldy mate. Oh, okay. Foldy mate has made me a better person. <laughs> it has made me a better man, a better <laughs> manager. It will make me a better husband. <laughs> because I won't have to waste time folding fucking laundry. I will spend that time with my wife. I would like to to say this. I just just to give, just to get some context. We actually talked about uh, full uh, Laundroid episode ninety six. So almost a hundred episodes ago. Yeah, but we talked about folding meat long before that. Uh, yeah, long before that. And and literally the he- the the thought that we have in here says uh, meet meet the newest folding uh, the folding machine. It's called Laundroid. And then we and then we put in, but it's no folding mate. So <laughs> goodbye. F- Nice knowing you. We I said would, fuck I'd, off 102 episodes ago. I would yep. like to say that I have a feeling that, first off, not only is Folding Mate just better in everything, it's just a better name. It rolls it off the tongue better. Yeah, You've got the full, mate. you got the D, you get the mate. Like, I'm going to mate because I folded my laundry. I have more uh, time no, than no, mate no, because no. of Foldy Mate. That's right. It's But Laundroid Android, sounds like I want to use a Samsung phone. It's exactly like that. It's like I want this thing to explode in my house. No. It's not. No. no, I don't want I'm not inviting you in here. Please. Please, Foldy Mate, come on in. Fold my laundry. Give me time. Take back my time. Thank you, Foldy Mate. It's friendly. It's got it's a mate. It's like an Australian mate. It's like a mate that's like a friend. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. (laughs) I just wanted to vamp so I could look at to when the first episode of no, Foldy no, Mate now was. You have all this. And I yeah. don't know when Foldy Mate was first mentioned on our show. I have like, no idea. It was like episode 12. Or I can't figure like it that. out. I just can't figure it out. I've been searching Foldy Mate, that kind of nerd. Ago. Can't find it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we we obviously have given this warning several times, right? Uh, and just kind of letting people know about things. And I want to turn our attention to, to one topic. There was a... a Google Arts experiment that was released this week that you take a picture of yourself and then it puts a, an AI generated word poem over your face. Like, looks like you're standing in front of a projector and a is poem it like is the social network you. poster? Well, look, uh, yes, very much like the social network poster. Uh, the picture on on the the article has Keanu Reeves on it, so you're like, oh yeah, this sounds pretty great. Please, for the love of God, I don't know how many times we have to warn you with this. Do these things with caution because they're not just doing this for fun. 
they're doing this so they can, you know, check your face, you know, facial recognition, train some algorithms. So, like, if you want to do this, that's fine. Just know that your face and your data is being used to train robots. And robots are going to rise up one day, and they're going to they're gonna kill us. They're coming after us. The Foldy Mate won't do that. They'll be on, that'll be on our side. I went to the site that you had in the show notes there. Yeah. And it asked me to enter a word. Yes, you enter a word. So I entered ostentatious. Oh, my God. It's trying to take a picture of me yeah, right now. Yeah, that's going to take a picture of you right now. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Here we go. You must save You must save this picture, and I, I need to have it for Instagram. It says ostentatious and strange treasures were that guardian of its mournful robe. And it referenced robes. But not. I don't wear mournful ones. I wear luxurious. Our technology seems to be from the deep. That success of the sea, the pensive sunshine. So, okay. I don't was know. What your, the, was your word technology? My word was technology. Okay. So, listen, this is cool. It's fun. I, I would, you know, if you want to take a peek at it, it's fine. Just just know that this is Google. They're, they're taking your image and they're doing machine learning. Just have the advocacy. Know what's going on with your data. All right. Finally. Finally, you two yahoos. You two right here. I'm gonna, I need you for a moment to realize the consequences of your goddamn actions. Okay. As we talked about we with the, as we talked about with the Foldy Mate, uh, we were obviously way ahead of the curve on that, and we were also ahead of the curve on fidget spinners and fidget cubes. You guys kickstarted, right? You backed the kickstart for the original fidget cube. Absolutely, yes, we did. We gave away one of the original fidget cubes to a that kind of nerd fan. Yes, yes, we did. All right, you the assholes, original. you assholes, are responsible for this next topic. You can now make your AirPod case a fidget spinner. Oh, this is amazing. I want I this. blame you two for this shit. I blame us for giving these products these amount of attention that someone's finally just like, you know, Brian Thornton would probably really enjoy spinning his AirPod case. You know what? Brian Thornton Josh spins his like AirPod that. case without the, the additional yeah, 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 yeah. spinning. Yeah, yeah, it's slick. Because yeah. it's slick. The problem is you drop it sometimes. Right, right. but so this, this. But this, no dropping, Josh. Josh, you can, it's built for oh, flicking and spinning. I'm getting this. We no. need to get oh, this. But it's black. It's No, you can get a brown. Nope. You want white. But it'll just get dirty. Oh, it'll get dirty. I'll get yeah. brown. Because yeah. it'll develop a nice patina. patina. Yeah, Ooh. fucking great. Twenty four ninety nine. You can go ahead and get the product called totally the Totally worth it. It's the first. By the way, it's called the first spinning case for the, I, the AirPods. You know what that means? There's going to be a second and a third and a fourth. And I blame you guys for this. We're great. This is dope. So Stack Social um, has, has really come up with a great idea for dudes like me uh, who are restless all the time. And want to spin their air their their AirPods case. I, I would just like to note, all right, <clears throat> that uh, you can't wirelessly charge the new AirPods case if you're wearing this. Uh, oh no, you can. Oh, you can. That's great. Even with the case, you can charge it. So no need to remove the case. All sales are final. Spent to delivery date between May 13th and May 16th. <laughs> I guess we're endorsing this shit now. <laughs> this is all your fault. I just want you to know, this is all your fault. I've I already blame ordered you. My- I know you did. I know you did. I blame you assholes for this. Brian's already ordered it. Rocketbook, ZenPod. You guys are lucky. Yep. And everything has been a wise purchase. This robe, Rocketbook, my eventual foldy mate. This is just. Just been. This podcast is a vehicle for me to buy awesome shit. The fidget spinners, the fidget cube. Uh oh uh 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 loot crate. Oh yeah, I still I still enjoy my loot crate on a monthly basis. I, like I have all this amazing stuff on my desk. Like I mean, it's this look. There's nothing wrong with it. My backpacks, my family with the that that kind like of nerd, nerd backpacks. backpacks. Yeah. We're all wonderful. We had the most the most the, the comfy, most comfortable hoodie. hoodie ever ever. Right, yes. Our right. merch, I can stand behind our merch no problem. Right. Oh, so you're just not standing by the other shit we buy. Let's, I'll say my Foldy Mate. I was wrong with Foldy Mate. All right. I obviously was on the wrong side of history for that. And fidget spinners and fidget cubes. I mean, I, I still don't like fidget spinners. I think those those are the I devil. Love, I love my fidget spinners. This is ridiculous. I blame you guys for this. This is our fault. We have to accept the responsibility. And then when the robots take over and they have the fidget spinners and they use them as weapons, I want you to I want your last dying thought to be, no, this was our fault. As you are then <laughs> spun and bled into oblivion. I'm going to have a giant fidget spinner. I'm going to throw it like Captain America. 
going to come back to you. I know, right? Because it spins, and the spinning right. will allow it to just change directions. It's a, it's a boomeranging action. Exactly. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is our show. I want to thank you so much for making us your walk around your neighborhood or your drive to work. Uh, if you would, please share this episode with a friend, because sharing is the ultimate internet currency, and we thank you for your donation. Also, uh, again, we have the Avengers Endgame episode out today. If you haven't seen it, please, A, uh, don't listen to that episode. And if you have seen Endgame, please don't spoil it for others. Uh, so go ahead and take a, a gander at that. And finally, if you would like to pick what movie we have to go see this month in May, go to our Patreon page, become a patron, and vote. And then we will have to see the movie that you guys pick. So thank you so much for listening, and we will see you all next week. Well, welcome to the club, because you are that kind of nerd. No, uh, uh, yeah, and a moose bouche is not something you eat with. And a moose bouche is a thing. Yeah, it's a I thing. It's a it's a cleansing of it, the palate. You'll it, find it's out a small tomorrow bite, night, Brian. It's the a Bernstons, bite of food. The Bernstons go to dinner. Oh, really? The, yes, the Bernstons are going to. dinner. I noticed. Uh, I think my invite got lost in the oh in the mail CJ, somewhere. It was one of those wow. like, let me take you guys out and celebrate your engagement. Fucking oh. like, do you need to be included in that shit? Uh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I mean. I'm just saying. It, like it wasn't like it wasn't a fucking uh a, a fat kind of nerd thing. It was like a, oh, okay, I'm yeah. so happy for you fucks. Gotcha. Let right. me take you to dinner. Oh, okay. Christ. I, I gotta fucking think of everybody. I mean, I'm time. sorry, I'll just I'll just uh Oh, I'm the worst oh. person ever. No, no, I'll just no, no, it's fine. I, just, I, I, guess, I guess I guess I have something fine. going on that night. That's yeah. whatever. Just uh, I'll be I'll be busy of for I'll, right I'll be with back. my other friends. The other what? friends that you don't know from camp. Like I'll be obviously my camp friends that <laughs> the night. ones the ones from Canada yeah the ones from Canada yeah the one I met I, I met at camp and they live in Canada now that's why you guys haven't met them but I'll yeah they'll oh I'll, I'll well I that. thank you for the guilt trip I can't can't do a I'm nice feeling thing real for awkward over here right now so I'm just gonna push through <laughs> I have an announcement to make okay uh, uh, and, and unlike uh, other people who won't be named Brian. I haven't seen the John Wick movies, and I will have completed them. I will; they will be done by May seventeenth, so I may go see John Wick three. But I'll have them well done. I'll be. watch them. I have a list of I need to watch John Wick. I will watch John Wick before said movie. Oh, it will so be you're, done. you're saying unlike Brian, you're unlike, gonna watch the things unlike, on your list? No, Josh. Unlike other people who I won't name, Brian, I will actually get this done. Yeah, you know, because commit. Committing four hours of your time. Committing four hours of your time as opposed to 30 hours of my time. No, more than 30 hours. It's like 40 hours. Four hours, so 40 hours. I'm very hours. excited four, for this movie. 40. Which one does the alligator mouth want to eat again? <laughs> is it the four? But the duration of time between the these. 40? Is- there's time. There's I'm another sorry, factor. Is it the four? Is the 40 bigger He's than the four? He's also talking about there's four years that have transpired. Like... What he's saying is, you had time. My point is, A, we made this agreement. He never gave me a due date. He never told me I had to write an essay. He never told me <laughs> that there was some sort of stipulation around this. He just said, yeah, no, I watch just, it. I just, I just said I Jalen's will. word, and you were like, oh, yeah, well, I'll live up to that. And the other At thing point, is, I'll live up the to it. difference is, not only is 40 greater than 4, last time I checked, Alligator mouth eats the 40 because <laughs> it's bigger. But the four hours that you will have to commit to John Wick will be better spent because it's an actual quality product as opposed to the 40 hours of Capaldi you want oh, me to Oh, you through. shut your fucking mouth. No. Nope. Okay. I, nope, I, 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 won't, I, gave, I won't I won't allow it. I will we're gonna not pause allow the blockbuster it. for this argument one more time. I gave Capaldi eight episodes. Eight episodes. I will not allow Doctor Who to be bad mouthed over John Wick. They are two different, very two very, very different things. My kids have like fucking like twenty thousand episodes of Little Lunch and other bullshit. The hell is Little, Little Lunch? Lunch. Oh, it's an Australian show. Oh, it's fucking ridiculous. The people, oh, not Mrs. Gunshot. No. Like, I don't fucking, I don't even know what they do. But it's fucking ridiculous. See, I hear Little Lunch, and I think it's like a Master Chef Junior situation. I know, it's like Lunchables. Snack. Little Lunch apparently is what they call a snack. Little Lunch. Oh, that's right? cute. Well, oh, oh, it's fucking adorable. But the show has the worst acting ever. <laughs> 
And like, <laughs> is it live action? Is it animated? They're, so they're watching. No, it's fucking live action. Everything okay. they watch is all these tween is shows. It they watch that. Educational? And they got this. No, it's not educational. And it's then Australian. There's this, of course, it's not educational. There's this uh, no good. There's this no good Nick. This this new Netflix show, No Good Nick. And there, oh, uh, doesn't that have, like Melissa Joan Hart in it? I don't. Yeah, it has fucking Sabrina the Teenage Witch in it. Well, she's not Sabrina anymore, but yeah, whatever, dude. They've watched this show. I swear to fucking Christ, my two children have watched this show twice through, and it's been out for two weeks. And I'm going, why? Are, but why? Who's who's allowing you this much screen time? And they're like, you asshole. And I'm like, okay, well, why do you keep watching this fucking thing? They're like, because we like it, asshole. And I'm like, okay. And I have nothing else to say. And then Christian it. plays his sax in his robe and runs away. That's right. Christian plays his sax in his robe and runs the fuck away. I can just, a- I can honestly imagine Zoe going, you asshole. And just you being like, all right. Yeah, well, no I mean, boy. CJ, how many times do your kids watch the same fucking thing? Oh, fucking goddamn Vampirina. That's oh, right. They watch, God. Brian, they don't, they don't do anything but watch the same thing. You say uh, that like I no. don't watch no, 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 the same thing. No, 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 not like we do. Not like, not like we a, do. Not like, not like adults. No. Because then they actually don't watch it and they're like, oh, I didn't watch it, so I had to rewatch it not, again. Not start to finish. They just mm-hmm. watch the same episodes. Yep. While they sit on their iPads, not yep. watching, watching the, episode. the episodes. Yep, I'm doing that with YouTube right now. What Jesus on Christ. earth is if ha- I have to watch like- another fucking Minecraft challenge? Anyway, For, I'm digressing. Right. I can't and why? Anymore. Why are you, why are you doing Minecraft dances? I don't no. even understand what you're celebrating. First no, off, there's no Minecraft dances. dances. It's yeah. Fortnite dances. You've, you've gotten older. That's that what one, I Josh. meant. Fortnite and dances. all I'm hearing is mm, about just, the joys of parenting. You, you've, you, Josh, you just hit old man really quick. Cause Cannot you just called, wait. You just got Minecraft. In Fortnite. It's like when my mom called everything Nintendo. I am playing the Xbox. She's like, turn off the Nintendo. All right. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. 